to begin, let's make a cup of tea and take a few moments to breathe and quietly sit. Because that's a little bit what this slow stitch is about for me. It's, um, it's taking the essence of that first quiet, deliciously beautiful sip of tea and it's trying to take that into the world. It's a balance of the quiet time that you might have on your own and working out how to bring that quiet time into your everyday time. I don't meditate. Uh, my dad meditates. Um, this is my meditation. And I actually have read a fair, a, a little bit, and I think this is a lot of people's meditation. If you choose to use it as your meditation, it can also just be a technique to make things. But I promise if you find a way to turn this slow stitching into your meditation, I really promise that you'll benefit from it. Um, and that's what I'm going to be talking a bit about in some of the audios that I'm doing so that you can listen if you'd like while you're stitching. So what we're going to do is the aim of this is to use this technique not so much to make a finished item but to bring the slow into our life, to make pieces that may never be finished but I'm going to show you some finished pieces because we all know at the end of the day it's beautiful to have a useful thing that you can show off and enjoy and also sometimes I know my family I'm sure your family I know sometimes it's good to show them results Process is really important to me, but truthfully, not truthfully, conversely, it is, it is fulfilling and lovely and, you know, in a world where everyone's just driven by the answer and the finished product, it is lovely to show them a finished product as long as you realise that the process is what it, this is about. So this little one here is just a little drawstring purse. I carry this in my handbag every day with a notebook and a pen. And I have been using it for I don't even know how long. Goodness, a long time. I'd have to scroll through my Instagram to see. And this bit's fraying here. This this bit here. That's okay. I can restitch that. What I'm trying to tell you is that while you're looking going, oh, it's so delicate and beautiful and precious, it's important to use those things in our life. To use the special cups, the special teacups, not just keep them for good. Not just leave this sitting because it's too precious. It's so important in our life to have beautiful things. And if it means they fray and fall apart, we can just repair them or rework them into something else. So this is a very simple little pouch. The whole thing has been hand stitched. There's not any machine stitching. Um, and even this little bit that's stitched on here. And this is some hand strung string, handmade string. And I'll show you how to make that because that's a very lovely, satisfying process. And kids really enjoy that. I use my scraps of silk or cotton my scraps of naturally dyed fabric. Uh, but you can actually, this is, this is the process to make string. So you can go in your garden and find things and do the same technique using things in your garden. And you can bring that into your um, basket weaving and find your own, your own things to make your own baskets, which is really beautiful. It's, it's using different techniques. So this is something that you can make. Um, here I have a lot of my own naturally dyed fabrics, but I also have some really special pieces. This is um, some kimono, little bits of kimono, and this is some lovely 
old fabric that someone gave me. My friends in Japan sent me kimonos and I unpicked them, which in itself is a mindful meditative process, but very beautiful to see the fabrics and to unpick them. They almost origami the way they fold them and they unfold to a full width of fabric. But sometimes there's scraps and pieces that are no good and sometimes I cut them up and enjoy them again because there's only so many kimonos that you can wear. <laughs> So that is what I enjoy using for my slow stitching. But the great thing is you can use anything, whatever fabric you have. So I'm going to do a second video and we'll start again because I'm on country internet, which isn't um, always the best. And I'm not sure what internet you're using. So I'm going to be conscious of making my videos not super long. So we're going to start another video and I'm going to show you what we're doing.